A cuckoo clock is a typically pendulum-regulated clock that strikes the hours with a sound like a common cuckoo's call and has an automaton cuckoo bird that moves with each note. Some move their wings, open close the beak while leaning forward, whereas others only the bird's body is leaned forward. The mechanism to produce the cuckoo call has been in use since the middle of the 18th century and has remained almost without variation until the present. It is unknown who invented it and where the first one was made. It is thought that much of its development and evolution was made in the Black Forest area in southwestern Germany, the region where the cuckoo clock was popularized. The cuckoo clocks were exported to the rest of the world from the mid-1850s on. Today, the cuckoo clock is one of the favorite souvenirs of travelers in Germany, Switzerland and Austria. It has become a cultural icon of Germany. Characteristics The design of a cuckoo clock is now conventional. Most are made in the traditional style, or chalet to hang on a wall. In the traditional style the wooden case is decorated with carved leaves and animals. They have an automaton of the bird that appears through a small trapdoor while the clock is striking. The bird is often made to move as the clock strikes, typically by means of an arm that lifts the back of the carving. There are two kinds of movements, one day and eight day clockworks. Some have musical devices, and play a tune on a Swiss music box after striking the hours and half hours. Usually the melody sounds only at full hours in eight day clocks and both at full and half hours in the one day time pieces. Musical cuckoo clocks frequently have other automata which move when the music box plays. Today's cuckoo clocks are almost always weight driven, though a very few are spring driven. The weights are made of cast iron in a pine cone shape and the cuckoo sound is created by two tiny jet act in the clock, with bellows attached to their tops. The clock's movement activates the bellows to send a puff of air into each pipe alternately when the timekeeper strikes. In recent years, quartz battery-powered cuckoo clocks have become available. As with their mechanical counterparts, the cuckoo bird emerges from its enclosure and moves up and down, but on the quartz timepieces it also flaps its wings and open its beak while it sings. During the call the double doors open and the cuckoo emerges as usual, but only on the full hour and they do not have a gong wire chime. The movement of the cuckoo in such clocks is regulated by an electromagnet that pulses on and off, attracting a weight, that acts as a fulcrum, connected to the tail of the plastic cuckoo bird, thus moving the bird up and down in his enclosure. Instead of the call being reproduced by the traditional bellows, it is a digital recording of a cuckoo calling in the wild. The cuckoo call is usually accompanied by the sound of a waterfall and other birds in the background. In musical quartz clocks, the hourly chime is followed by the replay of one of twelve popular melodies. Some musical quartz clocks also reproduce many of the popular automata found on mechanical musical clocks, such as beer drinkers, wood choppers, and jumping deer. Uniquely, quartz cuckoo clocks often include a sensor, so that when the lights are turned off at night they automatically silence the hourly chime. Other quartz cuckoo clocks are pre-programmed not to strike between a set of predetermined hours. Whether this is controlled by a light sensor or pre-programmed, the function is referred to as a night silence feature. On quartz clocks the weights are conventionally cast in the shape of Aleppo pine cones made of plastic rather than iron, as are as the cuckoo bird and clock hands. The pendulum bob is often another carved leaf. Here, the weights and pendulum are purely ornamental as the clock is driven by battery power. As with mechanical cuckoo clocks, the dial is usually small, and typically marked with Roman numerals. History. Equals first modern cuckoo clocks equals. In 1629, many decades before clockmaking was established in the Black Forest, an Augsburg nobleman by the name of Philip Hainhofer penned the first known description of a modern cuckoo clock. The clock belonged to Prince Elector August von Sachsen. Likewise, in a widely known handbook on music, Musica Universalis, the scholar Athanasius Kircher describes a mechanical organ with several automated figures, including a mechanical cuckoo. This book contains the first documented description in words and pictures of how a mechanical cuckoo works. It should be noted that Kircher did not invent the cuckoo mechanism, because this book, like his other works, is a compilation of known facts into a handbook for reference purposes. The engraving clearly shows all the elements of a mechanical cuckoo. 
the bird automatically opens its beak and moves both its wings and tail. Simultaneously, there is heard the whistle a euro call of the cuckoo, created by two organ pipes, tuned to a minor or major third. There is only one fundamental difference from the Black Forest type cuckoo mechanism, the functions of Kirch's bird are not governed by a count wheel and a strike train, but a pin program barrel synchronizes the movements and sounds of the bird. On the other hand, in 1669 Domenico Martinelli, in his handbook on elementary clocks horology elementari, suggests using the call of the cuckoo to indicate the hours. Starting at that time the mechanism of the cuckoo clock was known. Any mechanic or clockmaker, who could read Latin or Italian, knew after reading the books that it was feasible to have the cuckoo announce the hours. Subsequently, cuckoo clocks appeared in regions that had not been known for their clockmaking. For instance, the Historische Nachrichten, an anonymous publication generally attributed to court preacher Bartholomew Currencius Hilsfus, mentions a musical clock in the Oranienburg Palace in Berlin. This clock, originating in West Prussia, played eight church hymns and had a cuckoo that announced the quarter hours. Unfortunately this clock, like the one mentioned by Heinhofer in 1629, can no longer be traced today. A few decades later, people in the Black Forest started to build cuckoo clocks. Equals first cuckoo clocks made in the Black Forest equals. It is not clear who built the first cuckoo clocks in the Black Forest but there is unanimity that the unusual clock with the bird call very quickly conquered the region. Already by the middle of the 18th century, several small clock-making shops produced cuckoo clocks with wooden gears. So the first Black Forest examples were created between 1740 and 1750. The earliest Black Forest examples had shields decorated with paper. It is hard to judge how large the proportion of cuckoo clocks was among the total production of modern movement black forest clocks. Based on the proportions of pieces surviving to the present, it must have been a small fraction of the total production. Regarding its murky origins, there are two main fables from the first two chroniclers of black forest horology which tell contradicting stories about it, the first is from Father Franz Stira written in his Gestschick der Schwarzwer Currency LDER Amica Kunst in 1796. He describes a meeting between two clock peddlers from Fertwengen who met a traveling Bohemian merchant who sold wooden cuckoo clocks. Both the Fertwengen traders were so excited that they bought one. On bringing it home they copied it and showed their imitation to other Black Forest clock traders. Its popularity grew in the region and more and more clock makers started producing them. With regard to this chronicle, the historian Adolf Kistner claimed in his book Die Schwarzwer Currency LDER published in 1927, that there is not any Bohemian cuckoo clock in existence to verify the thesis that this clock was used as a sample to copy and produce Black Forest cuckoo clocks. Bohemia had no fundamental clock-making industry during that period. The second story is related by another priest, Marcus Feidler's Jar Currency CK in a passage extracted from his report Das de Lungen aus der Industrie und der Verkehrs aus dem Schwarzwald, said as follows, the cuckoo clock was invented by a clockmaster from Schaparagraph NWALD. This craftsman adorned a clock with a moving bird that announced the hour with a cuckoo call. The clockmaster got the idea of how to make the cuckoo call from the bellows of a church organ. As time went on, the second version became the more popular, and is the one generally related today. Unfortunately, neither Steer nor Jar Currency CK quote any sources for their claims, making them unverifiable. On the other side, Adora pointed out, in 1948, that Franz Anton Ketterer could not have been the inventor of the cuckoo clock in 1730 because he hadn't yet been born. This statement was corroborated by Gerd Bender in the most recent edition of the first volume of his work Die und Matcher de Hohen Schwarzwalds under a worker, where he wrote that the cuckoo clock was not native to the Black Forest and also stated that, there are no traces of the first production line of cuckoo clocks made by Ketra. However, Schaff in Schwarzwalduren, provides his own research which leads to the earliest cuckoos having been built in the franken niederbayern area, in the direction of Bohemia which he notes, lends credence to the Steer version. The legend that the cuckoo clock was invented by a clever Black Forest mechanic in 1730 keeps being told over and over again. 
but all of this is not true. This type of clock is much older than clock making in the Black Forest. As early as 1650 the bird with the distinctive call was part of the reference book knowledge recorded in handbooks. It took nearly a century for the cuckoo clock to find its way to the Black Forest, where for many decades it remained a tiny niche product. Although the idea of placing an automaton cuckoo bird in a clock to announce the passing of time did not originate in the Black Forest, it is necessary to emphasize that the cuckoo clock as we know it today, comes from this region located in southwest Germany whose tradition of clock making started in the late 17th century. The Black Forest people who created the cuckoo clock industry developed it, and still come up with new designs and technical improvements which have made the cuckoo clock a valued work of art all over the world. The cuckoo clock history is linked to the Black Forest. Even though the functionality of the cuckoo mechanism has remained basically unchanged, the appearance has changed as case designs and clock movements evolved in the region. The now traditional Black Forest clock design, the Skilde, was characterized by having a painted flat square wooden face behind which all the clock work was attached. On top of the square was usually a semicircle of highly decorated painted wood which contained the door for the cuckoo. These usually depicted floral patterns and often had a painted column, on either side of the chapter ring, others were decorated with illustrations of fruit as well. Some pieces also bore the names of the bride and bridegroom on the dial, which were normally painted by women. There was no cabinet surrounding the clockwork in this model. This design was the most prevalent between the end of the 18th century and the first half of the 19th century. These timekeepers were typically sold from door to door by Eurentra currency gear, who would carry the dials and movements on their backs displayed on huge backpacks. Towards the middle of the 19th century till the 1870s, cuckoo clocks were also manufactured in the Black Forest type of clock known as Ramanu. As the name suggests, these scarce wall cuckoo clocks consisted of a picture frame, usually with a typical Black Forest scene painted on a wooden background or a sheet metal. Lithography and screen printing were other techniques used. Other common themes depicted were hunting, love, family, death, birth, mythology, military and Christian religious scenes. Works by painters such as Johann Baptist Lawl and Karl Heine were used to decorate the fronts of this and other types of clocks. The painting was almost always protected by a glass and some models displayed a person or an animal with blinking or flirty eyes as well being operated by a simple mechanism worked by means of the pendulum swinging. The cuckoo normally took part in the scene painted, and would pop out in 3D, as usual, to announce the hour. From the 1860s until the early 20th, cases were manufactured in a rich variety of styles such as Biodermia, Neoclassical or Georgian, Gothic, Renaissance, Baroque, Art Nouveau, etc becoming a suitable complementary piece for the bourgeois living room. These timepieces, based both on architectural and home decorative styles, are rarer than the popular ones looking like gatekeeper houses and they could be mantel, wall or bracket clocks. But the popular house-shaped Barnha currency usla virtually forced the discontinuation of other designs within a few decades. Equals Barnha currency your style, a successful design from Fertwengen equals. In September 1850, the first director of the Grand Duchy of Baden Clockmakers School in Fertwengen, Robert Jevick, launched a public competition to submit designs for modern clock cases, which would allow homemade products to attain a professional appearance. Friedrich Eisenlu, who as an architect had been responsible for creating the buildings along the then new and first Badenian Rhine Valley Railroad, submitted the most far reaching design. Eisenlur enhanced the facade of a standard railroad guard a Euro unregistered trademark S residence, as he had built many of them, with a clock dial. His wall clock with shield decorated by ivy vines, as it is referred to in a surviving, handwritten report from the clockmaker's school from 1851 or 1852, became the prototype of today our Euro unregistered trademark S popular souvenir cuckoo clocks. Eisenlu was also up to date stylistically. He was inspired by local images. Rather than copying them slavishly, he modified them. Contrary to most present day cuckoo clocks, his case features light, unstained wood and were decorated with symmetrical, flat fretwork ornaments. Eisenlu's idea became an instant hit, 
because the modern design of the Barnhauer currency Yule clock appealed to the decorating tastes of the growing bourgeoisie and thereby tapped into new and growing markets. While the clockmaker's school was satisfied to have Eisenhower Euro unregistered trademark S clock case sketches, they were not fully realized in their original form. Eisenhower had proposed a wooden facade. Jenwick preferred a painted metal front combined with an enamel dial. But despite intensive campaigns by the clockmaker's school, sheet metal fronts decorated with oil paintings never became a major market segment because of the high cost and labor intensive process, hence, only a few were produced, whether wall or mantle versions, and are nowadays sought after collector pieces. Characteristically, the makers of the first Barnhauer currency Yule clocks deviated from Ice Lou's sketch in only one way they left out the cuckoo mechanism. Unlike today, the design with the little house was not synonymous with a cuckoo clock in the first years after 1850. This is another indication that at the time cuckoo clocks could not have been an important market segment. Only in December 1854, Johann Baptist Baha, the best known maker of cuckoo clocks of his time, sold two of them, with oil paintings on their fronts, to the Fertu engine clock dealer Gordian Hettish, which were described as Barnhar Paragraph for Uren. More than a year later, on January 20, 1856, another respected Fertu engine based cuckoo clock maker, Theodore Ketra, sold one to Joseph Ruff in Glasgow. Concurrently with Bahar and Ketra, other Black Forest clockmakers must have started to equip Barnhauer currency Yule clocks with cuckoo mechanisms to satisfy the rapidly growing demand for this type of clock. Starting in the mid 1850s, there was a real boom in this market. By 1860, the Barnhauer currency Yule style had started to develop away from its original, a Euro elusive rare Euro graphic form, and evolve, among other designs, toward the well known case with three dimensional wood carvings, like the Jagdster one quarter CK, a cuckoo clock with carved oak foliage and hunting motives, such as trophy animals, guns, and powder pouches. By 1862, the reputed clockmaker Johann Baptist Baha, started to enhance his richly decorated Barnhauer currency Yule clocks with hands carved from bone and weights cast in the shape of fur cones. Even today this combination of elements is characteristic for cuckoo clocks, although the hands are usually made of wood or plastic, white celluloid was employed in the past too. As for the weights, there was during this second half of the 19th century, a few models which featured weights cast in the shape of a gnome and other curious forms. Only ten years after its invention by Friedrich Eisenlew, all variations of the house theme had reached maturity. There were also Barnhauer currency Yule timepieces and its derived manufactured as mantle clocks but not as many as the wall versions. The basic cuckoo clock of today is the railway house form, still with its rich ornamentation, and these are known under the name of traditional, which display carved leaves, birds, deer heads, other animals, etc. The richly decorated Barnhauer currency Yule clocks have become a symbol of the Black Forest that is instantly understood anywhere in the world. The cuckoo clock became successful and world famous after Friedrich Eisenlew contributed the Barnhauer currency Yule design to the 1850 competition at the Fertu Engine Clockmakers School. Equals chalet style, the Swiss contribution equals. The chalet style originated at the end of the 19th century in Switzerland. At that time they were highly valued as souvenirs. Indeed, music and jewelry boxes of several sizes as well as timepieces were manufactured in the shape of a typical Swiss chalet. Some of those clocks had also the added feature of a cuckoo bird and other automata. There are three basic styles, named after the type of traditional house depicted, Black Forest Chalet, Swiss Chalet, and finally the Barbarian Chalet. Along with the common projecting bird. It may also display other types of animated figurines, examples include woodcutters, moving beer drinkers and turning water wheels. Some traditional style cuckoo clocks feature a music box and dancing figurines too. Equals designer cuckoo clocks, the stylistic revolution equals. The early 21st century has seen a revitalization of this old icon with designs, materials, technologies, shapes and colors never seen before in cuckoo clock manufacturing. These timekeepers are distinguished by its functional, schematic and minimalist aesthetic. Although simplified designs with simple, 
clear lines had already been produced in the 20th century, the real boom of seeing the cuckoo clock as a designer item, where the creativity and talent of designers are freely expressed and where the only limit seems to be imagination, was initiated in the 2000s, particularly in Italy and Germany. As for the models, there are a great variety, many of them avant-garde and adventurous creations made of different materials and geometric shapes, such as rhombuses, squares, cubes, circles, rectangles, ovals, etc. Without carving, these clocks are usually flat and smooth. Some are painted in a single color while others are polychromes with abstract or figurative paintings, multicolor lines and stripes, others include text and phrases, etc. About the clockwork, there are quartz, mechanical and sometimes, digital. Museums, in Europe, museums that display collections of the Kukuland Museum in the UK, and the Deutsches Uremuseum and Dorfund Uremuseum gar one quarter ten back in Germany. One of the biggest private collections in the United States that are open to the public located in Minneapolis. It contains more than 300 cuckoo clocks. See also, Automaton Clock, Black Forest Clock Association, Cuckoo Clock and Culture, List of World's Largest Cuckoo Clocks, Singing Bird Box, Striking Clock. Notes Bibliography, Schneider, Wilhelm, Zerenstungsgestik der Kuckucksu. In, Alteren, Fascicle 3, pages 13 a Euro 21. Schneider, Wilhelm, Fra one quarter he Kuckucks von von Johann Baptist Bahai Nysen back im Hotschwarzwald. In, Uren, Fascicle 3, pages 45 a Euro 53. Ma one quarter he, Richard, Kaylet, Helmut and Tekken, Beatrice Kuckucks von. Ma one quarter n c h e n. Schneider, Wilhelm, The Cuckoo Clocks of Johann Baptist Baha. In, Antiquarian Horology, Volume 17, pages 455 a Euro 462. Schneider, Wilhelm, Schneider, Monica, Black Forest Cuckoo Clocks at the Exhibitions in Philadelphia 1876 and Chicago 1893. In, NAWCC, Volume 30 2, Number 253, Pages 116 a Euro 127 and pages 128 a Euro 132. Schneider, Wilhelm, Die Zernkuck Kuchs U. In, Uren, 12. J. G., Fascicle 5, pages 37 a Euro 44. Kaylet, Helmut, Erin Arungani and Genials Design. 150 Jar Barnhaar Currency Ulan in, Classic Uren, F4. Pages 26 a Euro 30. Graf, Johannes, The Black Forest Cuckoo Clock. A Success Story. In, NAWCC December Bulletin, pages 646 a Euro 652. Miller, Justin, Rare and Unusual Black Forest Clocks, Schiffer, pages 27 to 103. Skoltz, Julia, Kuckuck's Human Amur. Fascination Schwarz will do. Stuttgart, Konrad Theis Verlag, 160p. ISBN 978-3-8062-2797-0. External links, Kuckuland Museum, a museum devoted to the Cuckoo Clock, German Clock and Watch Museum, article published in the NAWCC Bulletin on Designer Cuckoo Clocks.